Happy are you, Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, through whom we have been saved and redeemed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Welcome to Mass this morning. Welcome if you're participating via the internet. As ever, when we are able on Saturday, we remember the example of Mary, the mother of Jesus. We celebrate her as a disciple of the Lord. We celebrate her incarnation of Jesus Christ, the Word of God made flesh for our salvation. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with one another. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful, who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. In the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord seated on a high throne. His train filled the sanctuary. Above him stood, two him stood two seraphs, each one with six wings, two to cover its face, two to cover its feet, and two for flying. And they cried out to one another in this way, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. His glory fills the whole earth. The foundations of the threshold shook with the voice of the one who cried out, and the temple was filled with smoke. I said, What a wretched state I am in. I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have looked at the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding in his hands a live coal, which he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. With this he touched my, my mouth and said, See now, this has touched your lips. Your sin is taken away. Your iniquity is purged. Then I heard the voice of God saying, Whom shall I send? Who will be our messenger? I answered, Here I am, send me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. 
The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king with, with majesty in robe. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The Lord is king, king with, with majesty in robe. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. The, the Lord, Lord is, is king, king with, with majesty in robe. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. The disciple is not superior to his teacher, nor the slave to his master. It is enough for the disciple that he should grow to be like his teacher and the slave like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, what will they not say of his household? Do not be afraid of them, therefore. For everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, Proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Fear him, rather, who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny? And yet not one falls to the ground without your father knowing. Why? Every hair on your head has been counted. So there's no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of others, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of others, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks to you, Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray now to our Father. Let us give thanks for the Father's knowledge and love of us. Every hair of our heads have been counted. And let us pray that we may become ever more worthy of this faith that God has in us and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ from the housetops that others may believe. As we offer this Mass in honour of Mary, the Mother of the Lord, we pray especially for those places associated with her name and presence the Shrine of Our Lady of the Pew in Westminster Abbey, Our Lady of Tuxford in Nottinghamshire, Our Lady of Walsingham, 
We give thanks for the centenary of the translation of the image of Our Lady of Walsingham into the Holy House and for the life and inspiration of Father Hope Patton. We remember Father Kevin, the Shrine Administrator, and pray for all the Shrine staff and for those who are there on pilgrimage today, that the love and mercy of God may touch their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world, for all those places where there is violence and conflict, the effects of natural disaster and various forms of oppression, that the children of God in every land may be set free to live in peace and harmony. We pray for our own nation at this time of political instability. We pray for honesty and integrity in public life and in those who represent us in government. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for family and friends, for those who support and encourage us day by day for the worshipping community of this parish, that we may grow in grace and holiness too. We remember those who've asked us to pray for them. Anne, Helen, Mike, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Cara, Maria Teresa, Derek, Beryl, Sharon, Dorothy, Evie May, Kate, Ian, Alfie, and Yvonne. We pray for those recently departed this life, remembering Mark Riggett, Rebecca Wyatt, Nicole Guy, Stephen Warden, and Isabel King, and praying for all who grieve their passing. And we commend all those for whom we pray to the gracious intercession of Our Lady, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We bring before the Father our own personal prayers, needs and intentions. Be with us, Lord, in all our prayers and direct our way toward the attainment of salvation, that among the changes and chances of this mortal life, we may always be defended by your gracious help. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever, by the mystery 
of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. 
And so far the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of St. John the Evangelist, our patron, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for his own life. The Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. Behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we, who have honoured in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.